Greetings. My name is Vina Samadhi. I'm currently a student at Howard University pursuing a degree in history and political science. I'm currently on a pre-law track, but I have a passion for history. That's why I'm so thankful for this summer. This summer, I got the opportunity to work with the Shenandoah National Park Service during research on historic Lewis Mountain. Established in 1939, Lewis Mountain was the only site designated for African Americans during the segregation era. Lewis Mountain contains a lot of historical significance. However, in the National, in the National Park Archives of Shenandoah, there's only about a dozen photographs of Lewis Mountain out of the 12,000 historic photographs of the park. The research this summer felt crucial and really important because it seems like a history that's largely untold. Park records indicate that there were about 9,352 Black visitors in 1939. So Lewis Mountain was fairly popular during this time period as a segregated facility. Lewis Mountain attracted people from all places, New York, New Jersey, all from all different parts of the United States because it was seen as sort of a safe haven for Black people, free from prejudice. The reason for this assertion that it was a safe haven during this time period is due to oral history recordings that have told us that there were many countless community gatherings that took place at Lewis Mountain, church gatherings, picnics, school gatherings. It was seen as a place where people could go and enjoy themselves, enjoy outdoor recreations and the community alike. The significance of this research bids to a larger, broader context because the Shandon National Park was actually desegregated in 1950, which was more than a decade before the 1964 Civil Rights Act. Moreover, the purpose of the research this summer is to aid in the development of an interactive curriculum being developed by the National Park Service of Shenandoah National Park for students. This interactive curriculum is gonna allow students to learn more about Lewis Mountain and get more in touch with that history a lot more effectively. Thank you so much to the Shenandoah National Park Trust for allowing us the opportunity to conduct this research by providing generous funding. Thank you so much to the National Park Service and the Greening Youth Foundation for giving me this opportunity. And thank you so much to my supervisor, Ms. Claire Coma, for always being there to point me in the right direction. Thank you so much. Together, we're moving forward and creating something great by really exploring the history of segregation during the time period especially as it pertains to the National Park Service and Shenandoah National Park. It is a history that needs more exploration, but will never be forgotten.